Okay, so welcome to in-strike chipping. And as you can see there, we hit quite a nice little chip up to that hole. But more importantly, this technique is about teaching you to not dig in. So what we don't want to do, we don't want to get the club high and dig into the ground. That's when it goes wrong. And I'm using our training aid for this because this really helps with timing and tempo and everything. And if we can master it with one of these, then when we have a real club, it becomes so much easier. So let's go through traditional chipping sort of setup and things. And a lot of textbooks say to pull this left foot back. So they'd say that so it clears the hip going through but what we found is that it creates a bit more of an issue here and golfers tend to get the club up too steep to miss this pocket um, and therefore from there they throw it down you can see the club flexing way too much that's when the yips come in they tend to chunk it or bounce off the ground and thin it across the green because the club's up way too high so in order to keep the club shallower so it stays low the club's got to work around you you can see that going around you how low going out how high it gets and that's why this arcs here we'll come to it in a moment so setup wise we've got the ball opposite our back foot so as you can see my right foot has pulled back and also it's turned open that this opens this hip so what it allows it allows us to get the club behind and see how much movement i'm using with my body here okay so to begin with, a lot of people try and do it with the hands and arms and it'll go wrong. We have to use this part here. And if you come to us with some um, chipping days, we'll put the swing link on you. It goes around you here and the two Velcro bits goes on to your arm. And what that does, that connects you and then you have to move as one unit. And it's fantastic at keeping you connected for these short shots. Your hands and arms want to take over. They want to instigate the movement and we can't have that. We've got to get it on the body. So as you can see, I'm in here. This right foot is pulled back. It's turned open as well. So watch the hip, see how it's turned open there. I still lean on my left side. So it's almost like we've almost cut away the, the, this right part of us. I'm just going to do move it. As I move, look at the club come back. And then from here, we're actually going to rotate through. See that? We don't go back and then throw the club at the ball because that's no good. We've got to use our body the whole time. So if I come back to here again, watch this little turn on the inside, knock it through, and there you go, a nice little chip. And you saw how the club worked quite nicely there. It flexed at the right point because we timed it. Had I've got the timing wrong, you can see the flex is way too much here. So we go back, we almost wait for it, and then you come through. You shouldn't have too much flex on the club. And that's why we've got this inflatable in strike tube here so you have the ball opposite the gold we'll go to to the far flag and again as you can see i've pulled it this foot back we want the, the the foot back here i'm leaning into it so if i try and do a, say this strike you can see i've hit the tube if i come down and come down too steep i'm going to bash into the tube so we want the arc to be there let's have a go so pull the the, the foot back i'm on this position here just time it back through you see how nicely we've clipped that that landed and rolled all the way up to the flag and there's no turf there i haven't dug the the leading edge into the ground it's nice and simple so this is what you can do for for the the chipping is to pull the foot back open it up because it opens the hip everything is still positioned on this left side so we're here and we just rotate our body back and through turning this in strike tube is fantastic because when you get it wrong you're going to hit it on the way back or as you come down you're going to catch it like like that and come down on the top of it and as i say the swing link strap really helps keep you connected because it goes around your body you put the the bands on it connects you and then it teaches you to work as one unit.